here's ArtStation tutorial. Here's how you can create your portfolio on ArtStation. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own portfolio and show it to people in ArtStation. So if you don't know what is ArtStation, ArtStation is basically a place uh, where you can show off your work or, or even sell your work. Just like as you can see right over here that people are showing their uh, uh, digital work that, that they have made. That's basically for artists and they can basically uh, make money on this and sell their uh, stuff. And as you can see, some of them are uploading for fun just to get likes and stuff. But there is a whole marketplace for it that people can buy and sell uh, the uh, art that, you, that they want. So in this video, I'm going to exactly show you how you can make your own portfolio and sell your own stuff to uh, just so you can get some passive income to it and you have your own portfolio to check people out and potentially get some company jobs or something like that. So let's just jump into it. So first of all, as you can see, I'm in the main uh, ArtStation website and I haven't signed in. So I'm just going to sign up and make a new account from a start to just so y'all let you know. So let's just jump in and I'm, I'm going to sign in with Google. Use my account and confirm. All right. So here we go, as you can see, it's saying before you continue, please review or accept. Uh, uh, all right, I'm just going to accept their terms and condition. Here we go. Now, I basically have an account right now, as you can see right over here. And there's a lot of stuff to it. So first of all, let's just go to edit profile right over here. And at a profile, you have to edit each and everything of yours, just like you have to put in your headline. So in the headline, you have to put in your artist name. You can use your real name too, but you have to put in the name that you are known for or the artist name. So that's first of all, I'm just going to put in um, that's an example name. You could put in whatever you want. Then after that, we are getting to our avatar. So you, you, you know, you get your own logo and stuff like that. So get your logos and stuff like that to make your own avatar. I don't have any logo. I'm just going to put in this random picture that I have right now. And it's loading up. And here we go. We have this picture. I'm going to use this as my avatar just for example. But you can use any other picture too. But once you've done that, press on notify, notify me about a new industry jobs opening. All right. And press continue. And it, after doing that, it will, sh it will ask you which profile uh, best describes you. So you got fan, you can be a fan, all right, and you can discover art and support uh, your favorite artist. Then you got artist. So we're here for the artist because we have to build our own f portfolio and share our work. Then we can go for seller too. Then we got studio and recruiter. So we're just going to go for artist because we want to build our own portfolio. And once we're here, as you well can see, it's telling us to let's set up your artist profile. So once you're here, as you well can see, we have to set up our artist profile and you have to put in your username. I'm just going to leave this username right over here as it is. And then you have to put in a professional summary. So guys, this part is very important because here you have to put it in a, a, a summary for the work that you share and you have. So I'm just going to copy my work from uh, chat GPT. And uh, why am I putting a summary for it? Because because summary, putting the summary is very important. Without summary, no one will be able to see your portfolio or understand what you got. So uh, basically, I'm just going to sign up for ChatGPT now. Just to get sure that my summary is filled up uh, nicely and genuinely. So I would not suggest you using uh, ChatGPT for this. Because ChatGPT is just, I'm using for the example to fill out the summary. Because a nicer summary looks better. Just filled out um, some random birthday. And here we go. So once you do this, as you can see, right over here, uh, it's loaded up. All right, so I'm just going to uh, ask uh, ChatGPT to write a write a summary for an comic artist. All right, here we go. No, that's that's good enough. Just copy and paste. All right, there we go. Now yeah, uh, you have to fill it your own summary. But after that, uh, hiring availability, 
what kind of work are you interested in? So you can go for full-time employment. If you are doing this full-time job, you can go for contract or you can go for freelance. So just go for contract or freelance whenever you want. Then after that, it's going to ask for your contact information. It's, it's asking about what email address should be listed publicly. This enables clients and recruiters to contact you easily. So just put in uh, the email that you want or list another email if you want to be specific. So just going to put in the same email. Then here, you have to put in uh, uh, as your skill. So uh, just put in the skill that you can do. Just like um, um, color grading. All right. 3D, 3D animation, and comic art, all right? Just like that, you have to put in your skills, and there we go. Uh, in the end, it will ask you for software expertise. So it's basically asking for what software are you expert, to expert in. So let me see some Adobe. Adobe Fresco, yeah, Maya. I see most of the people using Maya. Yep. And we got Game Maker Studio. This will help. This will be helpful too. So yeah, once you do that, you have to put in the apps uh, that you're uh, expert in and notify me for new job uh, opportunities. Yep, continue. So once you do that, and press continue. And uh, the, this is the explanation. So my account is successfully updated. And now let me explain the explanation. So first time posting, uh, to foster high quality art communi community on our station, we ask you to please uh, do that. So, so that's their guidelines. Types of art. So their types of art is generally uh, a wide variety of visual art related to games, movies, media, entertainment. So this includes uh, concept art, illustrations, made paintings, 3D animations and stuff like that. So you have to, you know, you are sure that about that and you are posting the same content that the art that you want to provide to our station. After that, only post your work. So you all have to only post your own work and not to post any other or steal someone's other work or that could result in someone banning you or maybe um, uh, more to it. So I would say avoiding that. Then we got no erotic artwork. So yep, you have to put in no an erotic artwork. So our station is not the place for to post erotic artwork, please uh, read their guidelines if you want to. Then no photography, so you have to put in no photography. Remember that this is only for artwork. Our station is for artwork and you have to put in no photographies in it. And then in the last, it asking no posting other people's artwork. As I told you are here, you have to put in your own work and not post other people's artwork. So you have to agree and okay, I got it. And then press continue. So once you press continue again, and here we have to, uh, as you can see, it's telling us manage portfolio, create your artwork. So once you're here, as you can see right over here, you have to upload your artwork. So artwork is basically the the thing that will show in your portfolio. So once you're here, you have to put in um, the artwork name. So I'm just going to type in. All right, now I'm just going to upload the media. I'm just going to use this picture uh, just for uh, example. We won't be using uh, necessarily any other picture because I don't have any artworks on me right now. But yeah, you have to uh, fill in the type in too. And there we go. This is the picture. Uh, type in the caption that you want to. All right. Um, again, we're just going to do the same caption. But yeah, you have to put in uh, every single detail. I'm just using everything for an example. But you have to put in your thumbnail, your uh, uh, um, name, artwork name, and everything very, uh, like, fully. So after that, uh, put in the artwork description. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy again from chat GPT. But yeah, I'm suggesting again uh, to fill out your artwork description by your own because that's your art. So I'm just going to put in... There we go. We have, we got some art uh, artwork description. Hey, so here we go. 
Now, uh, in here content, if your artwork has some mature content in it, just press this. Or if it isn't mature, just don't press it. And in the this side, categorization. So in categorization, so you want if you want more visibility, you have to put in uh, the more detail. So here, what mediums did to create uh, you use? So here, as you can see, it's animated. So you have to put in animation and. I will show some example by two as you can see live action, real time and animation. So digital 3D, digital 2D, digital 3D and mixed media. All right. So you have to fill out the mediums just so your work uh, is fully uh, done. And then we got subject matter. How would you categorize this work? Choose after three. So we're just going to go for character animation. All right. And fan art that could use in fan art fantasy all right just put in the matter and then uh, uh tell them what sub uh, what software you used i'm just gonna use some random uh software all right maya and then tags you have to put in uh, the tags that are similar to your work so i'm just gonna put in um hashtag spider-man hashtag 3d Hashtag jump, all right, and or you can put in uh, created with AI, no AI, and stuff like that. It's up to you what type of text you want, all right. Once you do that, and your media and stuff is uploaded, and everything is done, and and use no AI or dissolve. There we go, and here with AI once you have done all the tags all right and you, you are good to go use the no AI tag to disallow the use of this project so once once you have done uh, stuff so as you can see please enter two or more so I'm just gonna put in uh, another and tags all right so you you have basically put in the tags right over here and done your work just basically after that you can put in more tags right away here hashtag used ai all right hashtag spider-man hashtag john all right, so you choose the matter and everything and stuff, uh, all the stuff and you you give in and just make sure that you have done all the work that that is needed right over here. So once you do that and your portfolio is ready, right over here is uh, the option of publishing options right over here. Just press publish and press published. All right. Now. Here as all can see, you published your first project and once you go to view artwork, right over here as all can see, this is the artwork that you use and that's your well, uh, profile right over here, portfolio and uh, if you want to like stand out and make your uh, portfolio better, you can put in uh, the pictures. I'm just going to use some random uh, this pic, alright, this pic looks good. Press open and make your profile stand out. So you can use some uh, stuff to make your profile more visible and more stand out. So here we go. And our profile is fully ready. And here you can see my artwork and portfolio. And just like that, I can upload more stuff into it. So yeah, you can you can upload either more stuff. And uh, there is our uh, stuff. Uh, like just like we added our description and we can uh, manage more portfolio and our portfolio ma uh, display options so I, I think this one looks better or you can show in albums too but I think show all projects looks better but once you go to about section and as you can see right over here is showing our software skills and hiring info so you can put in the contract and in this your email reveal email and it will reveal the email that are looking at your email as you can see and this is our this is your followers and this is your uh, following 
So here, th these are basically your DMs and you have successfully created your account and portfolio. So yeah, that's it for this video and I hope I helped you guys out with this one. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until then, peace out. Goodbye.